good morning folks. I thought I'd do a little video on something I guess you would call bushcrafting. What I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to make myself some fishing lures out of paracord and a couple of fish hooks. It's a real simple project, and it works great. Done it many times before. If you don't have live bait with with you, which you usually don't if you're out hiking, backpacking, and camping, if you've got a way to fish, you got fish in line, you can make yourself a pole, but you don't have any bait. Well, you can make yourself the perfect little lures to catch all kinds of panfish. Bluegills, perch, bass. You may even snag a larger fish on them. Trout love them. So let me show you how I make little fishing lures out of nothing but paracord and a hook. And what I'll do is, is I'll move the camera over so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'll just do a closing at the end. So come on along and I'll show you how to make fish and lure out of paracord. Okay, folks, let's make some, let's make a fishing lure or two. Okay, like I said, this is, this video is about making fishing lures out of paracord. Now these lures are like flies. They're great for catching trout, panfish such as um, bluegills, bass. Now, why would a person even want to spend their time doing this is because, now I know for myself, there's a lot of times I go hiking and backpacking, whether it be day hiking or overnight backpacking. And I end up hiking into a remote body of water, such as an inland lake or a creek or a river. And I think, boy, oh boy, if I only had some fishing gear with me. Well, that doesn't happen anymore because I carry a small, compact, telescopic, fishing rod that it's called a pen rod but um, it's only about eight inches long but it extends to 32 inches and it has a small open face spinning reel that goes with it. The two of them together weigh less that, that there's there are no more than a quarter of a pound if that. So I've got the rod and I've got the reel with the line. But you're not carrying live bait with you. In my pack, I also carry this combination type kit that has different sized sinkers in it. It's got two different sized hooks. It's got swivels with clips everything I need to actually rig my line. But no bait. So, what do you do for bait? Well, a lot of guys say, well, you buy the bait at the bait store, you know, you buy yourself some flies or a little lure or whatever, and you put those in a kit. Well, with this, what I'm going to show you is you don't have to go and spend a lot of money on these lures, you can just make them yourself right in camp. If you decide, oh, I'm on a nice little lake, I'd love to fish it, but I don't have any lures with me, well, right in camp you can say, okay, I'm going to just make some. And here's how we do it. First, 
you need some paracord. I like to put my pack some bright colored paracord. This is orange and yellow. It's really bright. I like to have red. I like to have um, bright yellow. I like to have a bright like fluorescent green or lime green. They all make great lures. <coughs> now darker paracord like black, brown, camo, they seem to work really well with the trout. So, so yeah, you just put a few one to two foot shanks of bright paracord in your pack. They don't weigh anything at all. I mean, yeah, you could put 10 of these in your pack and it's not going to increase the weight, really. It really it's so non-consequential. Now, what do you do to make a lure? Well, you got to have yourself a hook. I don't know if you'll be able to see this hook or not, but um, there's a hook up against the paracord here. Okay. And what you want to do is, and it doesn't matter how long the shank of the hook is, this one's got a fairly long shank. That's, that's, um, how, nice. but that's how long it is, okay? Doesn't matter how long it is. Because what you want to do is, first of all, you want to estimate how much paracord you're going to need. So what I say is, is you lay the hook on the paracord with the curve of the hook at the end of the paracord, go down to where the shank is. Whoops. Go down to where the shank ends, where the eye is on the, on the hook. Go about a quarter inch beyond that. Maybe, a, yeah, about a quarter of an inch. And just kind of pinch it off so you know where that's at. Now, so now you got the length that you need. Now you take the inner fibers. Now I want to let you know, what I'm using here is super cheap Dollar Tree paracord. It's not 550. So it's not, it doesn't have the like seven individual strands in the core. It's just got a bunch of strands, a bunch of loose strands. Um, it's like one strand with all the fibers. What you do is, is you take, you get that white part from the inside of it, just barely sticking out, get a hold of that, and go ahead and slide that out. And get yourself about, I like to get about an inch of it out, okay? So there you are. Now you're pinch, still pinching it, for the length of the outer part of the cord that you're going to want to go on your hook. Now what you do is, after you've pulled that out, you're going to cut it off at that point. We'll do that right now. Oops. So I just cut cut it off the end of that shank. Now can, can you imagine? I got a two foot piece here and I just cut maybe an inch and a half off of it. Can, think of all the lures you could make out of this one little piece. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is this is the way I do it. You're going to slide your hook inside the outer casing. You don't want that white part getting pushed all the way through. But you're going to slide your hook through that outer casing until the eye, until the eye appears at the other end. Okay. 
now the only other thing that you need is heat. Now you're holding this so that the eye is just barely sticking out the other end. You're going to take a lighter or some kind of open flame and you're going to melt this end around the eye. There we go. It's, oops, it's melted around the eye of the hook. Now, this is where it gets fun. You're going to take the outer piece and you're going to take the tip of your knife. Now, I should be using my little neck knife. I left it sitting across the way here. But you're going to unravel the outer casing of that paracord. Just take the tip of your knife and poke it in there and pull it out and it's very easy to unravel. And you're going to unravel it for maybe a half an inch. And then you're going to do this with the white inner fibers. Take them and just pull them apart. Just keep pulling them apart. They're very fine and you want to fluff them all up. You want to get them as pulled apart as possible. And you just take all the fibers from the outer casing and the inner fibers and you just mingle with them all together. Oops, and lo and behold, you've got yourself one sweet little fishing lure. And these little buggers, they catch fish. They catch fish. Another thing is, is you use the shorter shanks and they're more like a small fly but it's the same method and actually the more you use these the more you can take these and just blow on them and they fluff right up but see what it only takes a few minutes to make one I mean you can't go wrong. You can't. You can't. You used maybe one-tenth of one penny in paracord. You used a hook that probably is only worth three to four cents when you buy a, a bulk pack like this kit that I pointed out. This kit cost me like five, six bucks. And it's got 75 pieces in it. So, yeah, I mean, you're talking penny, penny, pennies for the hook. So this thing, no matter what, it's costing you less than, it's, it may, might, might cost you a nickel to make. Now, you could sit in your camp when you've got nothing better to do but to sit around like I am drinking a cup of coffee and make yourself a bunch of these little lures and pack them away and put them in your pack for your next hiking trip or for later that evening go out and do a little fishing at that lake or river or creek that you're camped next to. But there you go. No excuse to say, well, I don't have any lures. I don't have any bait.
a bushcrafter would say, oh yes I do. Only take me a few minutes to go whip me one of these up. I'm going fishing. <laughs> so there you go. I'll talk to you in just a second. Well, like I said, folks, it's just as easy as pie to have yourself some sweet little fishing lures in minutes, in minutes. They're fun to make. They turn out great. And just all the varieties of paracord that's available out there, just imagine what you could put together as a fishing kit for backpacking that weighs nothing cost literally nothing except your time and enjoyment in camp. So get out there, make yourself some of these lures, give them a try. What would it hurt? It wouldn't hurt at all because any day you get to go fishing is a good day. You can make it better by making your own lures. And just think of the satisfaction you'll have any time you catch a fish on one of your homemade paracord lures. So get out there and do it, guys. Hey, if you like this video, come on, give me a thumbs up, would you? Hey, if you haven't subscribed, punch me in the ugly mug. It'll pop up on the screen. I'll have some other videos that'll pop up there that you can just click on and go follow. But until the next time we get together, you all have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.